This is an example of a set A, set B question from the abstract reasoning subtest. This particular question is an equivalence type question where certain shapes are equivalent to other shapes and the total for each square adds up to a certain amount. As with all set A, set B questions, we'll start by looking at the simplest square. In this case, it's the top right hand square of set B. This is the simplest square because it contains only one type of shape. It only contains black circles. Now, since the black circles are the most frequently occurring shape, I'm going to assume that black circles are equal to 1. Now, in order to find the meaning of other shapes, I can compare this square to another square which looks quite similar to the bottom left-hand corner. And the only difference between them is that the bottom left-hand corner introduces one white circle. So if I compare the two, I have eight black circles in the top right, and I have six black circles and a white circle in the bottom left, which indicates that if a black circle is one, the white circle must equal two. And that gives me a total of eight for each square. Now I can do the same to find the meaning of the gray circle. If I look at the middle square on the left-hand side, I have three black circles and a gray circle. So if we're going to add up to eight, the gray circle must be equal to five. And then I can check with the other squares to see if this is true. So if I use the bottom right square, I have 5 plus 2 plus 1 gives me 8. And if I checked with the other ones, I would find that the same thing is true. Now that I have the rules for set B, I need to consider the rules for set A. The simplest case will be one in which the meaning of each shape is the same, and the only difference is the total. So let's try that and see what happens. If I go to the bottom left in set A, I've got 5 plus 5 plus 1 is 11. Bottom right, I've got 2, 4, 6 plus 5 is 11. So the total for set A must be 11. And of course, I would check with the other squares and I would find that that's true. Now that we understand the rules for both set A and set B, we can look at answering the questions. So this first question, we can add up all the shapes. And the total is 11, so it belongs to set A. For the second question, we can add up all the shapes. The total is 16. 16 is neither 11 nor 8, so it belongs to neither set. For the third question, we have four white circles, so 4 times 2 is 8. 8 belongs to set B. For the fourth question, we can add up the shapes. It adds up to 14, so it belongs to neither set. And for the last question in this set, we can add up the shapes. They add up to 11, so 11 belongs to set A.